Hello, 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 how are you? Hello, 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 how are you? I'm good. I'm great. I'm wonderful. I'm good. I'm great. I'm wonderful. Hello, 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 how are you? Hello, 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 how are you? I'm tired. I'm hungry. I'm not so good. I'm tired. I'm hungry. I'm not so good. Hello, 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 how are you? 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 Why, hello, my Circle Time friends. It's been a while since I've seen you. I hope you're having a great day. Are you good? or great or wonderful. I think today I'd have to say I'm great. So today's story time has to do with a bull and his name is Ferdinand. But first, there's a word I want you to look for. It's our vocab word and our vocab word today is lonesome. And lonesome means to be alone or lonely or remote which means to be alone, really. So when you hear me say lonesome, I want you to put one finger up because you're all alone, okay? And we'll start reading our book. <clears throat> now, Disney made a movie about this called Ferdinand, and I'm sure you guys have seen it, but this is the original story, and it's very old. It's the story of Ferdinand. Now, the author, is Monroe Leaf and the author, whoops, writes the words. And the illustrator is Robert Lawson and the illustrator draws the pictures. So here we go. <clears throat> now remember, this is an old book. <clears throat> Once upon a time in Spain, There was a little bull and his name was Ferdinand. He's a little baby cow. All the other little bulls he lived with would run and jump and butt their heads together. So look at them acting all crazy, mm, but not Ferdinand. He liked to just sit quietly and Smell the flowers. Look at all those flowers to smell. He had a favorite spot out in the pasture under a cork tree. It was his favorite tree and he would sit in its shade all day and smell the flowers. Sometimes his mother, who was a cow, would worry about him. She was afraid he would be lonesome all by himself. Did you remember to put your finger up? Why don't you run and play with the other little bulls and skip and butt your head, she would say. But Ferdinand would shake his head. I like it better here where I can just sit quietly and smell the flowers. He said, no, no. His mother saw that he was not lonesome. And because she was an understanding mother, even though she was a cow, she let him just sit there and be happy. As the years went by, Ferdinand grew and grew until he was very big and strong. See, look at him. This is how big he was when he was one week old, three months old, one year old and two years old. And now look at how tall he is. He did get big and strong. All the other bulls who had grown up with him in the same pasture would fight each other all day. 
They would butt each other and stick each other with their horns. What they wanted most of all was to be picked at the fights, at the bull fights in Madrid. See them all staring at the poster, telling them about the bull fights in Madrid, the stadium at Madrid, actually. But not Ferdinand. He still liked to just sit quietly under the cork tree and smell the flowers. One day, five men came in very funny hats to pick the biggest, fastest, roughest bull to fight in the bull fights in Madrid. Ooh, they're kind of scary looking, aren't they? All the other bulls ran around snorting and butting and leaping and jumping, so the men would think that they were very, very strong and fierce and pick them. Ooh, they're going to have a headache tomorrow. Ferdinand knew that they wouldn't pick him, and he didn't care. So he went out to his favorite cork tree to sit down. Look at the butterflies following him. But he didn't look where he was sitting. And instead of sitting on the nice cool grass in the shade, he sat on a bumblebee. Look at that bee. He does not look happy. <clears throat> well, if you were a bumblebee and a bull sat on you, what would you do? You would sting him. And that's just what this bee did to Ferdinand. Hmm? Wow, did that hurt? Ferdinand jumped up with a snort. He ran around puffing and snorting and butting and pawing at the ground as if he were crazy. The five men saw him and they all shouted with joy. Here was the largest and fiercest bull of all. Just the one for the bullfights in Madrid. He does look kind of crazy, huh? <clears throat> so they took him away for the bullfight day in a cart. It's going to be a long drive. What a day it was. Flags were flying. Bands were playing. And all the lovely ladies had flowers in their hair. Let's see what's right here. Ooh. Looking fancy. They even had a parade into the bull ring. Burr, 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 burr. First came the bandieros with long, sharp pins with ribbons on them to stick in the bull and make him mad. Oh, gee. That looks like it would hurt. Next came the picadores who rode skinny horses and they had long spears to stick in the bull and make him madder. That doesn't seem very kind. It was really long. And then came the matador, the proudest of all. <clears throat> he thought he was very handsome and bowed to the ladies. He had a red cape and a sword that was supposed to stick the bull last of all. See way back here, the boy carrying his sword. He thinks he's so handsome, doesn't he? Then came the bull. And you know who that was, don't you? Who do you think the bull was? That's right. It was Ferdinand. He looks scared. I would be too. <clears throat> they called him Ferdinand the Fierce, and all the bandieros were afraid of him, and the picadores were afraid of him, and the matador was scared stiff. Ferdinand ran to the middle of the ring, and everyone shouted and clapped because they thought he was going to fight fiercely and butt and snort and stick his horns around. Do you think that's what he did? Do you think he acted crazy? But not Ferdinand. When he got to the middle of the ring, he saw the flowers and all the loveliest ladies here, and he just sat down quietly and smiled. He wouldn't fight and be fierce no matter what they did. He just sat and smelled. And the bandieros were mad, and the picadores were madder. And the matador was so mad he cried because he couldn't show off with his cape and sword. Look at him throwing a fit. Oh, shame on him. So they had to take Ferdinand home. Another long ride back home. And for all I know, he's still sitting there under his favorite cork tree, smelling the flowers just quietly. And he is very happy. Man. Woo!
That was a beautiful story, wasn't it? That brings me to my question of the day. What happened to Ferdinand to make him go crazy? None of this would have happened if he hadn't acted crazy in front of those men with the hats. So tell your grown up what happened so that way they can let me know what happened that made Ferdinand act so crazy. It was crazy, just crazy. So we should, you know what? My thumb kind of hurts from holding the book. So I think today, instead of arm circles, we're gonna do thumb circles, okay? Now, take your hands, and put them together like this, like this, and then we're gonna twirl them, ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, I think we can go faster, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Oh man, that was intense. Let's give it a nice stretch. <sighs> stretch them out. Oh, oh yeah, did you hear like popping? It's because Miss Nikki's old. Crick, crick. Well, I think that's all I have for you today. So I think now we're ready to sing our goodbye song. Let me know if you guys think we should find a new goodbye song, just like we found a new hello song. All right, we're going to start. Ready? Here we go. See you later, alligator. See you later, alligator. In a wild crocodile. In a wild crocodile. Butterfly. Butterfly. end part. I always mess up and I sing your part. I wonder if that means that we're singing together. All right. Well, I got to get going now. Bye-bye.